All right, guys, this is part two of building my studio. You can see we got all the trim and these boards I haven't really told you about. I'll show you guys in a second. About to paint all this stuff black and get it ready. My guy's coming back to put all this up on this wall and then we can get moving on this room. So we're gonna go ahead and paint all this stuff. I'm just gonna time lapse it real quick and then we'll get to putting it up. So all done painting for the day. I ended up doing two coats, but I didn't want to bore you guys and make you watch the whole thing. So you can see all the trim right here. Like I said, these two small pieces right here are going to go in between and kind of frame my mirror. The longer pieces, the skinny ones are going to go vertically, one on the end and on each crack. And then the wider ones are going to frame across the top and across the bottom. Now these beams right here, guys, I told you I would tell you about them. Basically the hexagon lights that I got, there's so many pieces to them that they'll basically sag in the middle and the two wires that are hanging each of these lights are not gonna be enough to hold it. So more or less, guys, one of these beams is gonna go across this black right here, parallel to the top of this wall. And then these are gonna basically act like, kind of like what you see in the attic, kind of like ceiling joists. There will be five going across from end to end, just like this. I obviously wanted to paint them black so you can't see them. And then I'll be able to just screw the light right up into each of these joists and it should hold it solid. So done for the day. Everything's nice and black, same black as that. I will catch you guys on Wednesday and we can start putting this stuff up. All right, guys, we got the box open. Got all the pieces out. More or less uh, trying to figure out these beams are too long to lay on the floor and start building. So what I think I'm gonna do is build kind of the center four. We're gonna stand the beams up right here. And I'm gonna start to build it along the beams. That way when we get done, we'll be able to just tip it like this, put one end basically kind of like it is. Then we'll grab the bottom and lift it up and put it on this beam that we're gonna put up there. So I wanna get the light done before. I don't really wanna hang it upside down and be trying to screw it into the board. So basically I'm gonna build this first four pieces piece grid out of these short pieces and that will give us something to attach to those boards. So let's set it up and uh, get to building. All right guys, so basically we built, this is the very middle of the grid. So one of the beams is gonna go right through these bars. One's gonna go across those bars and these bars. And you see, we went ahead and attached. Basically I'm gonna pick this up mount it here, mount it there, mount it there. It's gonna hold our wall kind of steady. Then I can assemble on that and basically add to it until we work our way out. Then we can add two more beams on each end once we have some stability. And basically these screw holes are 20 inches apart. So I'm gonna mark that on that middle beam from the center and we'll go ahead and start mounting it up. All right, guys, I had to stop and get a drink. This video is brought to you by Alani. Not really, but uh, man, it's hot in here. Guys, this thing is huge. Phillip's like six foot five, and look how tall this lot is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a lot bigger than we thought. Let me turn the camera for you guys. So three high, Phillips almost to the end. So this is the end of the hexagons. We're gonna have another board basically at that piece right there going up. So once he gets that built, we we're add, we, we, we're, we will add that board. And then I'm working my way this way. He's smoking me, he's, he's better at this. He must've played with more Legos as a kid or something. Basically gonna build the grid. I'm gonna put the rectangle up last, but more or less we're just gonna keep working this around and then I'll get up on the ladder and finish the top. Cause like I said, this thing is way bigger than we thought. Phillips actually only five foot five five. five five so it is literally twice his size so anyway i'm gonna put the camera down and finish this thing up All 
guys, that's it. Master builder over here. This is one of those things, once we got going, it was easy to put together. So the plan, guys, this board is connected to all of them. We're gonna tip it on top of that. Go ahead and secure the blackboard up there. And we'll just lift this thing as a whole up there on top of the blackboard and it'll set from uh, side to side. So I'm gonna go right now to get a cord. It's gonna plug into that piece right there and come off the end. And we're gonna test these things out. So I'm gonna head to Lowe's and come right back. Okay, so basically this is a workshop cord. It comes with open ends. These wires came with the lights. They will just plug into the light. And I basically just have to connect these two, be able to run this cord all the way down to the outlet and plug it in. Just for a little extra safety, I'm gonna tape this with electrical tape to hold it together. Make sure it can't go anywhere, and then we will plug it in and test it out. All right, good to go. So basically, this one is gonna stretch to the vice that we just did. This one is gonna go to the rectangle when I plug it in, and then this will drop down the wall to an outlet. Oh, we got a blinker. I have to swap that one out. All right, but there it is, guys. First try. I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. I'll pop up there and take that one off and swap it. But holy cow, that is super bright and. We don't even have a rectangle around the edge yet. It's actually made to run separate. You guys see I wired it all together, but it's made to run separate in case that's too much light. You can leave the edge off and just run this or vice versa. I'm just gonna run it all together. I don't think in a barber shop there's anything like too much light. So we're gonna go ahead and put the rectangle up once we get this up in the ceiling. And obviously that other cord will go to it. And now that one's good. So I guess I'll just leave it alone for now. You guys can see it's looking crazy. All right guys, the lights are up. We ran into a couple problems and it was dark in here when we put them up, so I couldn't vlog that part, but you guys can see they're up and it looks crazy. So you guys can see basically what we did, the studs going across. We basically got it up there and the other board was in the way, so we had to drop it down and connect it all, but you can see it's looking sweet. We got the cord right here. This is my new tool chest that I showed you guys. This is gonna come all the way over. My mirror is gonna be right here and this is gonna come down to a power strip on the wall that I can click on that will turn all of my lights on. So two ring lights on each side, well, one on each side, a light bar up here. And just because, I probably don't need the light, but just because this is right here, it's gonna kind of be on top of their head and the back of the head will have a shadow so I need a little bit of light on that side. This is the sink right here, guys. It is gonna go basically centered on that panel. This will be kind of my station. These three couple waiting chairs right here. I'm gonna leave that wall white so I have that background when I cut. You'll have white behind it, nice and sharp. And I got something cool planned for this wall that I can't really tell you guys yet, but it's gonna be sick, so. That's all I can do for today. I got a couple clients to finish up the day, but tomorrow I got some free time. I'm gonna try to get the mirror mounted, the sink out, the tool chest in its place, and start to get everything kind of situated so you guys can start to see this thing coming together. All right guys, last day of this vlog. Uncle Phil's here, we're gonna touch up the trim. You guys can't really see it, but there's some nail holes, like, well, right there, all the way around the border and all that. Some of the beams got scuffed, so I'm gonna touch up all the black paint. We're gonna hang the mirror right here. We built a rectangle out of the extra lights because there's not really room up here to put that rectangle in. So I'm gonna put that there. Those beams we're gonna put along the top of this, wire it all up. We're gonna get a bunch of stuff done. I'm gonna time lapse it all and show you guys in the end.
guys. I think I'm done for the day. Obviously the lights are up. You guys saw everything that we did. So the rectangle wouldn't fit from end to end. So we ended up doing this light bar, definitely digging that and frame the mirror. Super dope. So I maybe don't even need my ring lights. Potentially the ring lights will go on each corner above the mirror. Not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. A couple waiting chairs. You see the nice tear in that one. So I'm gonna have to get a couple more of those. Planning on putting 245 products and whatnot up on these shelves right here. That's for trash and towels and IVAC. And then this is gonna be for soap and paper towels, maybe whatever by the sink. And I'm gonna put a mirror right here as well. Now this guy's is a dry erase board. I can't tell you exactly what we're doing with it. You have to wait till part three to check it out. And then here's my little illusion cape hanger I'm gonna put. I thought I had more capes, I only got two. I think I gave them away, but we're gonna hang five capes on that. And then like I said, guys, we're gonna leave this wall empty for basically the camera will be aimed right here. And this will be your background for tutorials. So, but that's it for today's video, guys. I've been working. I took about five hours off of my schedule today. I had some openings, I blocked it off. I wanted to get all this done. I had boxes of stuff everywhere and stuff was everywhere. And to be honest, I wasn't feeling that great about it. I'm pretty organized and I don't like being unorganized. So now that we got it looking like this, feeling much better about it. You guys stay tuned for part three if you are not subscribed. And make sure you click right here and check out part one if you did not see that. I already showed you at the beginning of the video, but you guys gotta see that if you watch this one.